introduction of human rights observers into the um, city lockup. How about the city jail? This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Thanks. Alderman Osborne, yes. question. If you're, if you're police or, or uh, you know, they're turning people over to the Valley Street Jail and they're coming out with, with you know, with paralysis apparently, should your police be handing them over to the Valley Street Jail or is there a better solution? Well, I don't know the whole circumstances here. This is the whole problem. You're getting to something here that uh, I really don't know what the whole circumstances are, so I really can't answer it. You know that there are people that have died there, obviously. I know what? You know that there are people who have died at the Valley Street Jail, right? Well, I'm sure people have died everywhere. Yeah, but so, they seem to die in rather large numbers at the Valley Street Jail. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to answer any of this right now because there's nothing I can really answer to. All right. Well, I got right. more of an answer out of you than I expected. <laughs> You take care. To this, this next year will be the second year. Right. Introduced uh, a lot of legislation, probably too much, more than I can really handle. So this is amusing. While I was standing here randomly, you know, talking to uh, politicians without, you know, informing anyone in advance, two freedom activists just happened to walk past and stop to talk to me. Uh, Jay Serene there, who used to run the pro-liberty paper here, and uh, Tim McFlaherty there on the on the left, who's a uh, state rep. As in, a free stater state rep. With regard to this incident that happened with the, with the guy who was arrested and then apparently ended up paralyzed, do you have any concerns about the police department handing people over to the Valley Street Jail? No. I think that it will that the, the truth will come out. I don't know what happened, but um, I have all faith in the world in both the police and the county jail. Have you, have you, toured, and the, I'm late. Have you toured the Valley Street Jail? Yes. Okay, all right, thanks so much. And what's your name? Hi. Now I can vouch for the fact that she was in fact late. So it's nice to have her answering questions. I got a different question. Okay, I got a different question for you, Mr. Osborne. Uh, what would happen? The first time. What would happen if I wanted to uh, be a human rights monitor inside the police department? Oh, would, they, would, they, would, they, would they even let me? me? You're in, I let you. You're in I charge. Have no idea. Really? I'm not the mayor. Is. What kind of rigmarole would I have to go through? Oh, I know. So, are, do you think that the people that your officers arrest are safe when they're sent to Valley Street Jail? Um, that's questionable. I haven't, I haven't been there, and I hope not to go. Okay, all right, thank you. Would you support the introduction of human rights observers into the city lockup? How about the Valley Street Jail? And why don't you talk to taxpayers? Are you on the board? Yes. A question for you. Would you support the introduction of human rights observers into the city lockup after what happened to Fern? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I don't know. You're not sure whether you would support the introduction of human rights observers? No. Do you have any concerns about what happens at the city lockup in Valley Street Jail? Well, I have concerns about it, but I, I don't know what can be done about it. Uh, maybe not sending them any prisoners or money? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. We discussed it tonight. We even come to an agreement. You discussed it tonight. The, uh, about the, uh, the problem with the uh, mental health from hospitals and stuff like that. I see. Okay. Could I have your name? No, I'm Gamash. Okay. Thanks so much. I appreciate Thank it. You. Take care. Mr. Shea, would you support the introduction of human rights observers into the city lockup after what happened to Fern? <laughs> Is that a ha 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 or a yes or no? <laughs> Mr. Osborne, would you support the introduction of human rights observers into the uh, city lockup? How about the city jail?
I mean, how about the Valley Street Jail? Do you have comp? Do you think that prisoners who are sent there are safe? Your prisoners. Alderman, question. Would you support... I'm not an alderman. So oh, you're not? No. You used to be, though, right? <laughs> Informer, yes. Oh, okay, are you on the Charter Commission? <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. Uh, alderman Roy, I have a question for you. I'm, Would you support the introduction of human rights observers into the city lockup after what happened to Fern? How about Valley Street Jail? You have a nice day. Are your prisoners safe? The ones you arrest for victimless crimes in many cases. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at WeUseCoins.com.